What's going on, everybody? No, I did not mess up and, like, screw up the SM card or forget to hit record on the video camera. A little bit of a different video, and it's not by choice. I mean, to be honest, I guess I had the camera there and everything like that. So, I'm going to make this really short uh, for an intro. Derby City Card Show. Phenomenal for me. I don't know how other dealers felt about it, how some of the buyers felt. That, well, I know how some felt, but not how all of them felt. But to me, very, very good show today. Got there at 7 o'clock in the morning to set up. Um, it was set up by like 7.30, I'd probably say. Had my breakfast down from chicken filet, all that stuff. And no joke, I think my first sale was 7.40 in the morning. Um, it was non-stop for me until about... Two in the afternoon when I packed up, cleaned up, and head home. I didn't have a chance to buy a lot. I did walk around in the very, very beginning. And the one thing I'm going to tell anybody, if you are going to set up at a show, and the show starts at 9, the first question, if, they, if you're not being told by that promoter or the host of the show of what time to be there, it's like, hey, man, or even ma'am as well, too, either way. Excuse me, but what time can I get there to start setting up? Chad gets there at like 6.30 in the morning. If I wanted to get there earlier, I could set up. So I know that he usually tries to tell people everybody about 7 o'clock to come in there, start setting up. Show's supposed to start at 9. I'm telling you, that show starts at 8 o'clock because people are already walking around trying to buy early bird stuff. They get to see everything, you know, first in, first out. A lot of dealers not showing up till 8, 8.30, getting set up, 9, 9.30, 10. Now, I got, trust me, traffic, you forget something, there's always that. But you should only see it by, like, ones or twosies and not, like, 30% of the dealers showing up late to shows. Um, Let me think here. That's that's my first thing. Um, Honestly, I did walk the show floor, like I said, but there weren't, all dealers were not set up yet. Um, I think when I got set up and walked around, there was like five dealers set up or in the process of setting up. And by the time I went, after I made my one, two, first three sales, about half were set up in there. And this is by eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but really, really cool show, though. Um, I guess Louisville Sports Cards was having a trade night. Had no idea. Nobody actually tagged me in anything. Kind of feel like um, separated from everything. Had no clue onto it. Normally, I get tagged in everything, but never got tagged. There was a not a card show, a trade night. Trade night. My bad. Louisville Sports Cards was doing trade night tonight at seven. Um, if I had known way far in advance, I wouldn't have made the plans I did for the current evening that I'm in now. It'd have been nice to go, but the whole time, and I'm not one of them people. If you know me, I'm not going to put the camera on every transaction I do to show everybody in my interaction. I like to just show the cards of the show. I like to hit the meat and potatoes at the end. This is what I got. This is my pickups type deal. I just don't like to put people on the spot. Because you know, if you ever watch a lot of people's stuff, videos, look how many, I could say, other than the person whose YouTube channel it is, but look at the other person that's on there. I would probably say 70 to 80% of the time that person's uncomfortable, and the ones that are comfortable probably have a YouTube channel or something out there. So, I, I don't do that. I, I will try not to. Now, if I saw some people I know that I know other people at Watch This Channel would do, I'd probably do something like, if you guys, uh, I forget what they're called. I just know they go by Gin and Juice. They have a YouTube channel. They came walking through. Um, You know, it would have been cool to do say something real quick onto it and stuff. But then I put them on the spot and they don't get to enjoy the show, too. So, but overall... I had one, two people walk up to my table of cards I, I, that I bought from. There was probably about six to seven. Um, just a lot of stuff I couldn't use. And I told people if I could find stuff I'd like, I'd buy it 80% if we could agree on the values, which they were really fine with. And a lot of them were actually happy I said that. I'm trying to think here. I did buy two, two raw cards. Yeah, two raw cards. Um... Or two cards intended for grading, only one's going to go. I'm trying to think. That was pretty much it. You guys just want to see what I picked up, right? Nothing crazy at all. Uh, there was a Jim Brown auto there, and I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay 
the last sold it was like 310. I mean, I didn't want to go over 300. I just wanted to do this cool Jim Brown auto, you know? Wasn't even the purpose of reselling it. But, you know, I ran into a lot of things to where I knew people, and from talking to them, they had other avenues to get more money than what I would be able to be able to offer on something unless it was PC. So I didn't even make offers on a couple people um, out there, and I liked their stuff. I just knew they had other avenues to make more money, and I, I just don't want to be that guy I'd be like, oh, I got to get it for this and all that. All right, you guys ready? So I don't remember how these all came in, but first up, Cam Thomas, Fast Break Auto. I was looking to grade this, and like I said, sometimes the lighting's not good, and you, you it, and it has a dealer, seller, whatever you want to say. You only have so much time to really look cards over, because you don't want to hold up, because you got guys, especially when you're managing two tables, of uh, trying to look to see exactly, you know, hey, oh, we got people over here wanting to pay. But uh had a couple of defects in the back, so it'll be off to DC Sports. This I bought raw off of one of the dealers, so Kenny Pickett, that'll go out to be graded. You guys know me. We hope for a 10. If it comes back a 9, we'll keep it until we get a 10. Okay, I'm going to put this out of my way over here. Uh, I can't remember how stuff came in now. I think this was with the Cameron Thomas. So, Jalen Williams, Contenders Auto, PSA 9 to 10 Auto. These take a little bit longer to get back. Since I was buying all those Thunders, I said, what the heck, let's get a contender of him. These two were together, yes. So up first, select Jamal Murray. The one thing I appreciate, I ask people their comps on it, because I don't have time to look up everybody's stuff. If it sounds off or they're unsure, hey, we'll look it up and we'll try to find a value onto it. Straight up Toby. Uh, this was like a $50 card, and he's right, they averaged 45 to 65 So, pick this up, Jamal Murray, select, uh, 99 Never know what'll happen to the Nuggets, but basketball start getting popular now, coming up here. We'll see what happens. And finally, yeah, I know, only one football card. Oh, Wildcats, sorry, I just noticed I only bought one football card today. But I was a dealer. You gotta give me a little bit of break today. A little bit of a break. Promise to be more football next week when I'm actually going to the show and not being a seller trying to buy as well, too. I'm just going straight as a buyer. No cards coming with me. But 2021 Gary Payton Black Gold Choice Mosaic PSA 10. So this is like a lot of times people are not always perfect whenever they're trying to do comps. And what I appreciate with somebody's like, I have no idea. I just have this on eBay for this. I have no offers on it. So I went through, we went through, looked it up. Um, I actually, when I came home, I actually found a raw. So I'm kind of glad I was at where I was at on to it. But we found a raw did, I think it, I wrote down on the back of this. A raw sold for 55. And then there was a gold, same year, SGC 9. So these are out of 8. The golds are out of 10, did 51. So we were right on the price. So pretty cool on to that. Uh, but that, that's all I picked up, guys. Some of the other feedback I got, and I always appreciate everybody gives me feedback. So I ask them, like, hey, is there anything around here to show? Is Because a lot of people know what I like and stuff. And a lot of them are like, oh, I picked some stuff up, but it was out front with people. <laughs> You're the only table I bought from. And the one thing I will say that I appreciate is uh, getting good feedback from people in there when I'm asking questions. And it, sometimes it's not even from people that are repeat buyers, first-time buyers. So you know how the show goes and stuff like that. The biggest thing I got was, I not know not everybody can do this, but I saw your cards the night prior. I actually did it throughout the week and stuff. But they said instead of like, they understand like if your last comp out there was like 142 or it's averaging 142 and you put 145, they got that. But like when your last couple sales all average 140, 145 and you put 200 on it, it's like a deterrence from that table because they don't want to haggle and have the game going back and forth onto it. So if you price your stuff at what the true value of the card is at, you can always play around with the stuff onto it. Um, had a bunch of deals go down up there. Um, really, really good show overall. Really, really good. I'm trying to think here. Got rid of all my memorabilia at it today. That was good. I just threw it one big bulk deal when that said. <laughs> and it was nothing. It was really crazy. It was left. It was like, make me a deal that I can't say no to. And I'm like, done. 
<laughs> done. There was only like, I think it was six pieces left of it. So it wasn't anything, maybe eight. I think it was eight. Wait, one, two, three jerseys. Two, three, four. Maybe about seven pictures. I think about ten, ten pieces overall. Might be a couple other ones I threw in that I had in a box too, but they weren't anything that was like crazily in value. But anyhow, got to move all that stuff. Overall, I think it was... If you take away the 50 cent boxes that I do are value boxes, 32 cards were moved today. 32 was the number. So pretty good overall. Um, talked to two of the other dealers. I like some of their stuff they had, and they did really well too. Moved a lot of uh, a lot of cards today. So overall, from just talking to two other dealers, I didn't get to talk to everybody. They they had a really good show too. So really happy with it. Again, sorry I didn't get any kind of like footage into there. I just didn't have my camera with me when I went to try to do an initial walkthrough. And then as you're trying to walk, you got people coming to your table, and you got to bounce back and forth. So the camera wouldn't have been a good idea. All right, guys, appreciate y'all watching the video. I want to keep this really, really short. Sorry, it went over 10 minutes. Other than that, guys, take care. I'm out.